orientation is locked. Oh no, we're going, we're stuck this way today. Okay. All right. So, all right, we're live now. Okay. So this tells you how many people are on. See that right now? Nobody, right? Uh, and then people give thumbs up. So as people come on, you're going to see comments here. Okay. okay. All right. You're going to, you're going to see that. Okay. All righty. All right, so, but right now we're live. Unfortunately, I started it in the wrong orientation, so you have to hold it this way. You have to hold uh, it like that. I have to okay? hold it that way. Yeah. Like right? this. Yeah, right? Okay? Like that. Okay? And you can use your fingers to zoom in and out. You see that? Okay? Yeah. Right? All right. Yeah. Okay? So here we go, right? Okay. Are you live now? Yeah, we're live now. So come on in over here on me, right? So we're going to go. Hey, good morning, everybody. My name's Kevin. Uh, Sam? Odds are you know me and I know you, all righty, and, uh, and, and today we have uh, uh, my good friend Sam is uh, doing, the, uh, doing the camera work, right? At least for yeah. the first uh, 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, right on. Okay, so uh, hey, somebody just came on. So look, I'm showing, I'm showing Sam everybody how to work this. See that? So one person came on, and so who came on? Let me know. I'm trying to show Sam how to, uh, how to read you know what people say let's see all right jocelyn jesslyn see that jesslyn 11 good morning happy sunday happy so, sunday so you read that okay hey good morning jesslyn how are you thanks for coming on okay i appreciate you very much here you go so sam you're gonna hold that right so you hold it wherever you want just don't press the button see just yeah. don't just don't press any of the buttons because that'll shut it off right yeah okay yeah. so right so find a good place and up there's the lens right okay all right, hi everybody. Uh, it's Sunday morning, which means it's live stream time from Tortoise Land, okay? And we are a working, a working tortoise rescue, okay? As you know, I'm gonna take these off, alrighty. And tortoise rescue, right here in the heart of Los Angeles, and we got a bunch of stuff going on to show you, okay? And okay, here's here's uh, here's somebody that's growing huge, right? Okay, and now has graduated. All right, come back, come on. All right, come on. All right, okay. So, <laughs> this is Nikki, everybody. All right, so if you've been watching, you know that we had uh, beautiful um, uh, Nuts the Squirrel, okay? Nuts the Squirrel came into our life the day before Easter, right? When Rocky, Craig Gray, Rocky, and Piper and, and me found, um, found the, little, the little girl badly injured, right? And then for four months, <laughs> okay, for four months she was with us, right? And uh, hi, honey. So now this guy, this is Nikki, right? And Nikki uh, was way littler. Nikki came in about almost a month ago now, and uh, my my tenant Nick found this little one on the street in the gutter, and his dog actually put it in his mouth, right? Which is crazy. So he was able to get he was able to get little Nikki out. <clears throat> excuse me, already. I handed them over to me since I already knew a little bit about squirrels after knowing nothing about squirrels, right? Oh, okay. And now this one, I'm going to grab, okay? So this guy right here, two people are on. Hey, good morning, person number two. Uh, they, let us know who you are if you can. All right. So now what's happened is little Nikki has now grown up, okay, and, uh, and likes to run around, okay? I got to keep my eye on him because I'm a little concerned that he doesn't like run too far, right? But now he's teething and stuff. And look what's going on over there. We got, it's war of the, the, two, uh, the two aggressive guys right there. Who's that? That is Punk, everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Punk and who's uh, not in the head right there? That is Newbie, the desert tortoise, all right? So it's, uh, yeah, those two guys... Uh, uh, often I have to put them in detention hall, right? Okay, so we got some cool stuff going on, right? This is Sam, everybody. Hello. Right, Sam? And, uh, all right, so here we go, okay? So Monica, Moon Boots Monica, is not here today, okay? She has a dog she adopted, okay, and had surgery, so she's, she's um, dealing with that whole thing, but she said to say hi, okay? And last Sunday, if you watched, it was Adam, uh, called uh, the camera guy, Adam, and uh, he came on with me, and we just had a heck of a time, all righty? So we were on here, and it turned out our, our, our rapport back and forth was so fun, and after this, we go to TikTok, you know, and you know how many people watched on TikTok? 18,300 people watched, okay? 
So Adam and I might have a comedy shtick going along with Monica, right? Okay, so look at this guy. I'm gonna just let, we're just, just gonna let this guy uh, jump around, hi? Right? Because he's learning how to be a squirrel now. See that? Okay, you learn how to be a squirrel, pal? <laughs> he's also learning how to bite, right? Okay, so hey, so, so several things happened this week that I wanna talk to you about, okay? And how about the, the first one we're gonna go into is a new um, a small tortoise that came in yesterday, okay? And this one is uh, kind of a serious situation, right? Because, so you know, we rehome tortoises, right? Come on down here. And it's a show about tortoises, so we wanna, we wanna see the tortoises as much as we can, okay? And then if anybody comes in, you just let us know, right? Okay, so what happened yesterday, everybody, you know, tortoises come into tortoise land, right? And you go over here too, Sam. Like what? Let me show you, okay? So like, you just want to really go down, right? So these are Shy Girl's kids, everybody, for the most part, right? Except our two beautiful redfoots that were born right here in tortoise land that are now getting tremendously huge, okay? Huge, all righty? Um, and uh, the rest, like I said, are Shy Girl's kids, okay? And who do we have over here? They want to say hello. And what's the white stuff on them? That is uh, calcium, everybody, okay? We sprinkled their food. Uh, big time yesterday with calcium, okay? Right over there, dude, right here. Alrighty, so I wanna show you the littlest guy, and that is Jazz. Hold right on. here, Jazz is right here. Is Jazz over, oh, there you go, thank you. Thank you, Sam, alrighty. So look, here's little Jazz, right? And Jazz is our miracle baby that was that was hatched, amazingly, after um, about six days after we went to the Lamert Park Jazz Festival, right? I told you the story. It was in an incubator that we brought to the Jazz Festival of eggs that were like three months past due date. So never thought any of them would hatch. So we took them to the Jazz Festival. It was unplugged the whole time, okay? And, uh, and lo and behold, we get back from the Jazz Festival. The incubator is sitting out front in the in the in the front yard because why they're ne never going to hatch right and on the thursday i realized that uh, it's out front so i go out front to get it okay and uh, go out front to get it and i open it up and lo and behold who is there but this miracle little guy so we named him jazz right okay and it turns out jazz is extremely fond of dandelion flowers right look at that boom on cue you can't get better than that right so dandelion and dandelion flowers are awesome for tortoises, everybody, okay? Super high in calcium. And where do you get them? Real easy, where do we get them? The park. Right? People's yard. That's right, right, right? So that, you know, so look, like we got this bag here. Here's them, right? So we got this bag right here, okay? We got a bag right here, so where can I haven't you... Haven't had a hold on. Okay, boom, just go like that, okay? Alrighty. So while walking, you know, one of the best places that you can get uh, wild greens and stuff is just out walking. Okay. So when I got the dogs and all, right? You see this good Sam? You yeah. Zoom it in, you move it, right? Okay. So out walking the dogs, Piper, Craig, Ray, Rocky. Um, you know, we just look. We look for. I'll show you. Okay. Wild grasses, rose petals, right? You over here, you see over here, right? We got hibiscus flowers that we grow right here, okay? These are our hibiscus leaves. These are all great stuff for tortoises, okay? Big tortoises, little tortoises, all right? So it's just one of the best stuff. And you, we pick them and we put them out here, right here. <laughs> Look at little Nikki, right? Look at little Nikki. Hi, little Nikki. Hi. It's really cool because only, only two days ago, did Nikki start uh, jumping off me? Uh, he's biting too, huh? Look at, don't, yeah, but he's not biting. I, okay, he's not, can you see that? Can you zoom in, right? He's not biting all the way, but he's biting. All right, so look at, I wanna show you what happened over here, everybody, okay? So yesterday we get, okay, I'm gonna take a breath. Monica would have me say, slow down, Kevin, take a breath, right? So we go, mm. so thank you for watching, okay? And here's what happened. So on Friday, as you know, uh, people reach out to us, like the tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com or the tortoise guy Eternity or the tortoise guy Robert at gmail.com. If you have a tortoise or you know of a tortoise that needs help, needs uh, 
you know, needs a new home and stuff, we're not guaranteeing that we can take the tortoise in. But either way, we'll be able to help, right? Because we do have a lot of followers and we can put the word out and we'll put the word out, right? Okay, so that's what we do. So what happened is, pretty interesting story, okay? Uh, is that this tortoise, now you want to get in close, right? This, this is what it's about, okay? Now this is an African sulcata, everybody, okay? I'd say the number one tortoise that comes into tortoise land are African sulcatas, right? Okay? And believe it or not, this African sulcata is three years old, okay? And why is that, why is that uh, uh, surprising? Because right here, so these are Shy Girl's kids, right? Okay? Born right here. So when, you want to make sure you get that camera over there. I appreciate Sam is here doing the camera work for the first time, okay? So look at this, everybody. This is just one of Shy Girl's kids. Right now we have 43 of the babies here that we're looking to rehome, okay? Again, you reach out to twiceguykevin at gmail.com, all right? So look at this, everybody. Look at the size, okay? We have, <laughs> who's doing what over where? Okay, we got to take a pause and see what's what. Come here, guys. Let's see. Okay, because we're hearing a lot of banging around. You know what that means? Somebody's behind the, right? So make sure you, right? You get, okay, so what that means is somebody is behind there, so we got to get them out, okay? So we interrupt this for a second, and then we're going to come back and talk about this tortoise, okay? And we named Squish. And it's not for a good reason, okay? Not for a good reason. And we want to talk about this this little guy because we want to show you what was done way wrong with this tortoise, okay? What was done way wrong and why it's a huge problem and why this tortoise is in big trouble, okay? All right, sure enough, look who's here, everybody, okay? Here's the thing. Tortoises get into everything, right? They get into everything, all right? And even though we have these barriers up, you see this, right? Right, Sam? You getting all this, right? Okay. So we got these barriers that we built, right, to keep them out, okay, of the, of the office here, and the, right? And, uh, and guess what? They're little tanks, right? So they just boom, boom all day long, right? Okay. And who's this, everybody? All right. Oh, okay. This is Digger. Beautiful Digger. Now, Digger was born right here in Tortoise Land, okay? Digger is only five years old, right? five years old people okay and so when you look at these babies over here and you're like oh my gosh come over here and show the babies okay so you're looking at these adorable babies right and you're like oh my god we want we want one of these babies you gotta know and we will make sure you know that african sulcatas are the third largest species in the world all right so this beautiful baby that's only eight months old in five years is going to be as big as beautiful digger okay let's come on down sam right come on down on our level all righty you know get down on our level can you see good sam yeah okay great so look at this everybody beautiful digger and his beautiful piper come on in pipe you got piper on camera let's go right here okay all righty so 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 your guy's gonna be this big okay really fast right so when you come here, we're going to teach you all about these guys, how to raise them, how to care for them, all righty? And make sure you know that, hey, your beautiful, your beautiful little baby is going to be that big that fast, right? So, so we, you have to make provisions for these guys, right? All right, so what I want to show you guys is this. Come on up, Sam. All righty? Is one of the big things we do is show you how to care for tortoises. All righty, I'm not an expert, but doing it for 22 years, so I do know a few things about it, right? Okay, the number one problem we have with, with uh, people caring for these tortoises is they do not get them out in the sun, okay? They don't get them out in the sun, all right? So we have several that have come in, okay, in the last several months that have what's called metabolic bone disease that have big huge problems okay and this one like i said just come in so make sure you're getting close sam Alrighty. this is we named this guy squish okay because not for a good reason like i said all right this is what happens this is a severe case of not only metabolic bone disease due to be putting in a in a in a cage in a pen in a 
a, a glass aquarium, okay, and not allowed, two things, not allowed to move around, okay, and never put out in the sun, okay, never put out in the sun. And I'm going to show you something. Sam, I want to make sure you, we see this really good on camera, okay, because this is really important, people. I have never seen something like this. Are you good, Sam? You yeah, can see? yeah. All right, guys, look at this, all righty? All right, I want to show, now this, okay, all right, this is, watch this, okay, can you see this? You see that right there? Oh, Can you see that, Sam? Yeah. All right. Okay. That's this guy's shell. Look at the look at the bottom here, people. You see this? Can you see the give? You see that? That is absolutely horrendous. Okay. And the size like this. Okay. I'm afraid almost to touch this guy. And how how this little girl has survived is a real miracle. Okay. This is what happens when a tortoise is not put out in the sun. Doesn't matter what kind of tortoise, okay? Um, you got to get them out in the sun, you know? You can say, well, they're inside and they've got the UV light and all that. Yeah, but nothing replaces the sun, people. Nothing, okay? So that's why we take them out, okay? We put them in, in the nursery. We put them in this kind of container, right, Sam? Make sure you see. We don't want the camera to stay still. Right and stuff. We want it to keep moving. Alrighty. We put. I put the, the tortoises. I build a little nursery out of these simple containers that you get at Lowe's. Right. Okay. Let me see this for a sec. Okay. We get these at Lowe's. Hold on. Right. Boom. Okay. They get them at Lowe's or, or your store. And the great thing with these is you just pick them up and bring them outside. Alrighty. Good night from India. You see all these things coming in. Uh, Jazz so tiny. See these? Yeah, I saw that. Right? So you want to read them because otherwise we don't know. Make some videos on Indian terrapin and tortoise. Okay? So you, you just read them, right? Okay. So look at what I want to show you. So we have these here. Okay? So you want to get them outside. They're in the nursery, right? Then we, we just buy these pools like this and they're only $10, people. 10 bucks. Okay? And that allows us to get the tortoises out in a bigger space, okay? And that's important because if they always stay in the same space like this, if they always stay here, after a while, they're gonna be really bored, right? And they're not gonna wanna move around. Here's a little tiny Jazz, everybody, okay? Who's doing great and eating away, okay? So back to this guy, right? Here, Sam, you wanna hold this? All right, we got eight people watching, which is great, okay? So thanks everybody for watching. Hey, guess what? Tortoise Land t-shirts. If you go right now, you're gonna see our website being built on Tortoise Land. If you go to tortoiseland.org, tortoiseland.org, you're seeing it come together as we speak, okay? So uh, we're very proud of it. And soon on this website, you are gonna be able to order Tortoise Land t-shirts. All different colors, all different sizes. I'm keeping my eye over here, <laughs> right? And look who's, who's Knocking around right here is, of course, Digger, all right? Because tortoises will get into everything, right? Every open crevice here. So if you have tortoises and they're outside, man, you got you to gotta make sure that anything is protected. Like, for instance, we rescued a 100-pound um, tortoise. I want to show on camera. We rescued a 100-pound tortoise, okay? Uh, Digger's about... 60 pounds now, okay? So, so we rescued, so we brought a 100 pound tortoise to a friend of mine in Palm Springs, right? Okay, and tried everything to make sure barriers were built in that, and the tortoise busted through to all the pool equipment and filters and broke the stuff. So, if you have tortoises, man, you gotta just tortoise proof them big time, okay? All right, so we're gonna talk about this guy one more time. I wanna show you, this is what, a tortoise baby should look like, okay? That we take out every day, put in the sun. You got to get them out in the sun, people, okay? And you can say I live in an apartment and stuff. You still got to get them out in the sun, okay? So you take your container and you get them outside uh, or you just get a separate container and you take them outside, okay? And you're going to get them in the sun. We give them lots of calcium, all right? And Sam's got to go soon, right, Sam? Yeah. It's time to go, right? Okay. So... So, Sam has got to go, so you got to forgive me because it's going to be Kevin doing the camera work, all right? So, yeah. just bear with me. I'm going to take the mic off you. I'm going to say thank you, Sam. Thank you. Right? Okay. And go have a good 
church, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, everybody. So I'm going to flip the camera around. You got to bear with me today because it's just Kevin. All right. All right. Usually we have Monica. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on. And bam. Okay. Right. All right. All right, everybody. So, right. Last week we usually have uh, Moon Boots Monica here. Uh, last week we had guest star Adam here and and just was phenomenal so today it's kevin um so just bear with me already okay so like i was saying you get your baby tortoise uh, whether it's a baby or full grown you've got to get them out in the sun okay M multiple times a week all right so failure to do that has led to this tortoise we're naming squish i'm going to turn the camera around okay this guy right here boom Alrighty. So check this out. So Squish, not only his shell, unfortunately her shell is so soft, okay? Dangerously soft, but look at the rear legs, okay? Look at the rear legs, all right? Watch. This, 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 this little girl, she can move those front legs, okay? But she cannot move these legs, all righty? She cannot move them, why? Because of a very poor diet, why? Because not being out in the sun, why? Because being stuck in a, uh, a very small, uh, uh, a very small enclosure, okay? Not with adequate lighting, and this is what happens, okay? All right, so what are we gonna do about it? Hold on, let's see, okay? So what can we do about this guy, this girl? All right, so, so we brought her to the vet yesterday to Dr. Shakterly, okay? Brought her there and uh, got her an exam. And, of course, Dr. Shakterly was quite shocked. And, um, you know, it's a sad situation. So what we can do and what we're going to do is, uh, and already have done, is immediately have this girl out in the sun, okay? Get her out in the sun, all righty? And um, we are giving her maximum calcium, uh, supplementing all her foods with calcium, okay? She has not had hardly any calcium in her life. That's why she is so so weak and so soft. That's why her legs can't uh, support herself, okay? So that's what we can do for this girl, all righty? Right there. So just keep watching for, um, hopefully, the progress that uh, this girl is going to make. Luckily, she eats, okay? Luckily, she eats. Alrighty, so that's her saving grace. Alrighty, she she is still eating. Okay, now I want to tell you about a couple other things. Alrighty, let me flip it around. All right, so yesterday, check out the video. Charlie visits Tortoise Land. Okay, Charlie is an awesome, awesome guy, and he um, last summer he has three tortoises, two box turtles. I'm looking for them right now. Okay, two box turtles. And Nuvi, the desert tortoise, and he raised them for 35 years. Okay. And by Hawaii, which is where he's from, and he comes and visits every time he comes to town. And he's a joy and he's so fun and he loves his animals so much. And it's just a blessing to see that. Okay. And now I'm looking for a little squirrel. Okay, right here. Okay. Right there. Hi, honey. So there's beautiful Nikki, right? Nikki likes to hang out here. Nikki starts teething, huh, honey? That's right. So watch this. Watch. Don't bite me, bite me. Okay? Don't bite me, bite me. Right there. Hey, hey, hey. Okay? Right? There you go. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Right here. Okay. So here's Nikki, everybody. So, yeah, tortoise land has become uh, squirrel land a little bit too, all righty? You know, no way we could say no to this little girl, a boy. Alrighty. Okay. So I'd love you to look at the video that just came out called uh, Charlie Visits Tortoise Land. Alrighty. And what else is going on? Okay. Lumpy, our beautiful, beautiful Lumpy is going to go to a ranch probably next weekend. How about that? Okay. Next weekend, we got a home for Lumpy on a great big ranch. Alrighty. We did a live stream a while ago uh, to, to make sure the, the ranch is going to be good. And it is. And uh, very excited after 18 years, Lumpy's going to go there. Okay, there's one more tortoise I want to show you, okay? See this tortoise right here with the big C? This is Crush, everybody, okay? And Crush came from a wonderful uh, a woman who had Crush since Crush was little, okay? Crush is, again, an African cicada, 
and she raised Crush um, since Crush was tiny, and Crush is now 11 years old. Now, Crush has some pretty big pyramiding. You see that? Ideally, um, a tortoise is going to have look pretty smooth, right? Okay, and ideally smooth like these right air sliders. You see that? What's the story of the right air sliders? Oh my God, there's a whole story there too, everybody. Okay. We don't normally do turtles, right? We don't normally do turtles, but these guys, this one showed up at the tortoise land door. How about that? A couple of weeks ago, just walked out front and somebody left this greater slider. That's what these guys are called, common turtle, uh, in the front yard, okay? So please don't do that, people, all righty? Don't do that. That's never happened before, all righty? You got to reach us, the tortoise guy, Kevin, at gmail.com. And then this one here, okay? All right, that we named Stubbs because this one here was found by a wonderful woman and her daughter driving through what's called Chinatown here in L.A., okay, and found this one on a street corner in a little clear container, could, could not move in the container, all right, that was literally on a street corner, okay? And this one that we named Stubbs, why? Because Stubbs is missing this leg right here. See that? Okay. So it's pretty miraculous that this guy is all right, okay? And like I said, we don't do green turtles, but this happened and uh, we're looking for homes. So, you know, if you live locally and uh, you're looking for a beautiful right air slider, well, they're right here. Reach out to the tourist guy, Kevin at gmail.com, all right? And help us out, right? Let's get great homes. Right over there, buddy? That's right, okay? And let's see okay there's a whole story about this guy and this guy and where can you find the story on patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy okay patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy ready so for one dollar a month you guys help us out on tuesdays we drop at least three videos we make exclusively for patreon members okay we just broke 200 dollars a month that's coming in to help us we're a nonprofit. every dollar counts all right so help us out that would be super awesome who's coming out now this is beautiful d all right d is a desert tortoise right d is awesome d is delightful all righty and uh she's gonna come out and go chill in the sun all righty like all tortoises need to be in the sun like we just talked about all righty and getting ready to start the tortoise land day okay so so everybody that's what's going on today that's what's new again right here we got the brand new tortoise that say a prayer we're going to do everything we can for this little girl can't even handle her much because of how soft she is all righty he looks sad right okay who looks sad all right so this girl we're doing everything we can we're going to give her lots of love lots of calcium lots of sunlight okay the rest of these guys are doing really good. There goes Crush again with those, not Crush, Jazz with the dandelion, okay? Dandelion flowers are super awesome, everybody. Super full of calcium, right? Hopefully we'll get this guy eating some too, right? What do you think, pal? What do you think? Ready? Hey, if anybody can fix these guys up, it's going to be us. Because that's what we do, righty? So, okay, so go check it out, tortoiseland.org. Check out the website being built. Check out that you too will be able to get Tortoiseland t shirts soon. And uh, all the proceeds are gonna go straight to Tortoiseland, okay? Because we are a nonprofit, alrighty? And check for the videos we drop, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. And have a great day. A little squirrel named Nikki says thanks too, okay? All right, take care, everybody. Until next Sunday.